Hi guys, here is another art project um, that you can make as close up or as far away as you want, but hopefully you can tell this is corn. It's corn. Anyway, um, I did this project. Um, it took a while, but maybe you could only do like one or two pieces of corn. You don't have to do all these kernels. But it kind of looks realistic, so I wanted to show you about it. Um, and you can do them different colors, like um, the you know different Indian corn we have um, during the fall time. Or you could just do it black and white. And I kind of left that for effect. Just I don't know. I just felt like I liked it how it was, so I left it. For this, you're going to need colored pencils, paper, um, and patience. <laughs> But I thought you might like this since it's fall and Thanksgiving coming up and, and you might see some ornamental Indian corn like this around in decorations and maybe um, as a store. So I kind of wanted to show you how I like to do corn. Oh, so we're going to start with blank piece of paper. And I think I'm going to do the condensed version of this because it takes a while to draw those individual kernels. I'm going to um, warn you that I'm going to sharpen my pencil. Okay. So let's just do maybe like three. Let's just do like three of them instead of doing six. Okay. So the big thing is um, I like to start it out like um, I'm drawing the curves on the side of the corn. So if you think about if you've ever had corn on the cob, the side of the corn kind of looks bumpy on the side like this, right? So I'm just going to do these curves to represent the sides of the kernels that I'll finish later. This is just to give me an idea of like a relatively straight line, but they're not straight, you know, so I'd hate to draw a straight line and then have to go back over it and then erase the straight line. So we're going to start out doing the curves of the corn, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And I'm kind of going at an angle just to make it more interesting than straight on. You can make them all about the same size, however, in real corn, they're not all exactly perfectly the same size, right? Okay, so this is my first edge of my corn. Okay? And then on the other side, see how thick do I want this to be? I want it to look really close up. So I'm going to make it pretty wide. You can make your corn as big or as small as you want. I've seen little tiny ones at the store that have super small kernels that nobody really eats, they're just for decoration. Um, some people probably eat it, but... And those little tiny, tiny corns that are in um, kernels, corn, corns, ears of corn, um, that are... Um, what did I say? Just little tiny for decoration, they have really tiny kernels. Oops, I'm going in. I need to kind of maybe go more out like that. Yeah, I messed it up. I was talking too much. So I did use a line there to kind of give me, to rein me in a little bit and make sure I know what I'm doing. So on this side, I did the letter C, right? To do the curve like this. On this side, it's like a backward C. Alright, so there's my first corn on the cob, relatively straight, but curvy. And I'm going to do two more on either side. So, um, let's see. So I'm going to do more C's like this.
just right next to it, like they're set next to each other. You can just draw straights like C's or backwards C's like this, but I kind of like to add, like I go over it a couple times just to make it shaded so it looks better, I guess. It's up to you and how much your hand hurts. <laughs> um, and then maybe I'll end it right here, and I'm going to go off the page a little bit so we'll know that's like the end. And then one more on this side. So I'm going to have three, um, three uh, views of one. And about right here is probably going to be the edge. I'm going to draw like a light line I can get rid of. Oop, that's not right there. I have to be right here. More straight ish. Straight ish. C. Lots of. Oop, I don't want to overlap that because then I'm going to have to go back and erase the line. And we don't want to do that. All right, there we go. So there's my three ears of corn without the kernels. So that doesn't take too long. It may seem a little monotonous to you, but then again, like it's up to you if you're gonna choose to spend time on a project um, like this one. I love this one so much I printed a copy of it. So it's up to you. So now, corn comes in so many different colors. Um, so it's up to you, but I would try and keep with the same group of colors within one. So like this one is mostly yellow, but it's got some blue corn in there too mixed in. Um, just a little bit of a pop to surprise, you know. This one's mostly red, but has some of these red and yellow multicolored ones. Uh, this one's blue and purple mostly, but it has some red. And this one is yellow, black, and purple. And then obviously this one is black and white. So it's up to you how you want to do that, either black and white or make it your own color. But my favorite ones, I think, are this yellow one, um, this yellow, purple, and black one, and this, or this. I don't know, one of those. So I'm going to start maybe with this yellow one. Um, so I'm going to put that one in the middle, I think. So how do we... How do we do this? Um, so when I'm ready, I'm going to go in and kind of um, take the curves and finish them. It's not very focused, is it? I don't think I'm going to be focused. There we go. Now we're focused. So kernels are kind of like a squashed oval. They're a little flat on the bottom and top because they're squished between others. So you're going to go around. And do something like that. You know there's going to be a reverse C on that side. Oops. You want them to be about the same size again, but some of them are going to be smaller and bigger in real life. Whoops, sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't really see what I was doing. Oh, baby. So this is going to take a while, obviously, to get all of these kernels drawn and then have to decide like which one's going to be which color and what's going to be shaded with lines and which one's not. So it is kind of a time consuming project. You might just do one corn. Uh, one ear today, or you might just choose to do one total, and that's totally fine. Um, I can't remember if I did another row in the past first or if I started over here, but I think I'm going to start over here. 
this so that I can maybe try and think ahead to line them up correctly. I'm sure there's not going to be the same number of kernels on both sides exactly because some are bigger and some are smaller, right? I'm just going to keep going. I don't know why I chose to start right there. Maybe it's so you can see it better. <laughs> I'll pretend that that one had a little baby one in between that wasn't fully formed so that it lines up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. I'm so thankful for you guys. Since we're thinking about like Thanksgiving, and I just want you to know that I'm so happy to be able to do art with you guys, even if I don't get to see you face to face. It's still great fun for me because. I don't get to teach art in Trinidad. Although I'm starting a new art business um, where I can host like paint parties for people who want them, businesses and people. So that's kind of fun. My new adventure that I'm working on. But you guys right now are my only way that I get to do art. So. I appreciate that. Mis estudiantes. You know what? One thing about art that I miss from Des Moines is that we had a kiln so we could do clay projects. And I don't have one in Trinidad. So if you guys ever decided to do clay projects, I wouldn't be able to fire them for you. However, Maxwell could. So if you guys ever think about doing clay projects again um, for art in your regular class with your regular teacher for art, um, you could do it. You just gotta. Get, uh, just gotta ask Maxwell if he can fire your stuff in the film, which is pretty cool. These are looking too ovally, they need to be more flat on the top and the bottom. Somewhere I messed up my kernels a little bit because now I have this space in the middle that doesn't line up with the other space. That's all right. I guess that could happen. Nature does interesting things with kernels, right? They're foreign. you think? Like me and all of you. Back to normal size corn, well sort of. All right. Okay. My first corn is done. So let's talk about how you would shade this thing. So 
um, the way to make it look realistic and make the kernels really pop um, and look shiny is you want to color darker colors or harder um, just with the pencil you're using in between them in between the kernels and like especially where there's four corners in really dark because that makes um, the kernel look like it's standing out also you kind of want to um, make it darker around the outside and lighter in the middle like leave a white space if you can so it makes the kernels look like they're shiny um, and round and smooth it makes it look like it has a texture and then if you want every once in a while you can put one of these like um, tiger looking um, designs in them just because some wild Indian corn have some really cool designs like that so um, let's see. What color did I say? I wanted to do yellow, right? I have two yellows. I'm wondering, um, hold on a second. I'm going to use the darker yellow to go and like fill in the centers like that. That's what I'm doing up. And then you would make like the outside of the corner super dark yellow and then start going in towards the center and lightening that up a little bit like that something else you can do too to make them look shiny and really well blended is uh, find your white colored pencil and go over it when you're done um, blending so let me grab a white oh i don't have a white colored pencil i hope you guys do this one this might be a white one right here. Oh, it looks like a little pencil. What happened to my white colored pencil? I don't have my white colored pencil, apparently. So I'm going to use a white uh, pastel to just kind of go over that a little bit. And smooth it out. If I had my white pencil, it would look much better. Mm. Now, as you can see, it's going to take a while to do all of these kernels. So maybe you just want to do one corn on the top. And we could come back to it later if you want. Um, because I would like to do blue as well, but just a couple of them, I'm going to pick those out now, like which ones I want to do blue, because I just want them to be scattered. I don't want there to be a ton of blue. It's going to be just like a rare blue kernel here and there. I'll do two right here. One right here. I don't want these to be super complicated for you right out the gate, but if you're looking for something extra to make it a little bit harder, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of one. Okay? So maybe over here I'll do a third one. It's got a couple streaks in it that look like tiger stripes. Something like that. Go back in with the yellow if you want. Should have made that one more yellow too. Whatever. Didn't matter. 
work how I wanted it to. It's all right though, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Maybe down here we'll do like a couple next to each other. So it's important that you color in the blank areas around it super dark um, so that it looks like they're three-dimensional uh, journals. And you don't want to leave it empty because it's going to be dark and shadowy between them. One more over here. Maybe you should put some more with stripes. Well, it's much better if you put the yellow, if you put a white uh, colored pencil over the top to kind of get it together. So this takes a long time, obviously. So you might only want to do one or half of one and then come back to it. One uh, corn um, ear. I'm starting to get a thumb cramp. <laughs> I'm thinking, um, Maybe this would look good. I'm going to want to put something darker on the inside that's not yellow so it stands out a little more. So maybe like the shadows in the corners, you could do a little bit of a tan or an orange to kind of keep them looking 3D. Oh yeah, that's looking more realistic. More realistic for the moment. Oh yeah, corn on the cob. It's corn. I'll tell you all about it. It's a good song, I hope you've heard it. <laughs> I mean, look at this stuff. When I tried it with butter, everything changed. What a fantastic day! Oh, after I finish this section, I might need to take a break. Because my hand hurts. Hmm. Cool. Anyway, you can see how though this would take a really long time um, to do the whole thing. It's definitely fun to 
look at when you're done. It's a really neat drawing that I was super proud of when I did it, so I think you guys will be the same way. Looking, they're almost looking like dirty in here. Like these look really good, but this these kind of look dirty. I think it's just because I did the pencil too much in that section. Maybe I'm not sure. Is that the right arrow? Yeah, well, I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna get better at warning you about it. I'm second guessing myself doing these tiger looking ones because they I didn't put that many on I put like three so I don't know if that's enough to make it look like a legitimate um, coin top it's gone now that song's gonna stuck in my head. Another earworm. Which if you missed my other lesson, an earworm is a song that gets stuck in your head. I'll take a break. My hand hurts. <sighs> you guys are probably like, I don't want to do this anymore at this point. Especially if the artist herself is sighing, right? Even my dog was sighing in the hallway. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just trying to get you some beautiful art projects. I know this, these kind of take a little while. But how cool would it be to have your own corn art project to give somebody for Thanksgiving or um, just hang up for the season? I'm hoping to hang mine up. I would like to put it in a um, frame. Ugh. My thumb. My thumb, my thumb. I wish I could find my white colored pencil. I hope you guys have a white. I think most colored pencil packages usually come with a white. I don't know why mine don't, unless mine did not come with a white. The last time I did this project, I totally had a white. Right now, I'm going back with um, this tan color to try and fill in the spaces in between my corn kernel. And if you do like a little, almost like a J shape in your corn kernels at the bottom of them, it kind of gives it a little shadow so it looks like, you know, part of the corn is in the sun or light, sun or light, and part of your corn is darker. Hopefully yours is looking good. I think as soon as we finish this um, corn cob, I'll be done because I've already done uh, a bunch of them and filled the page before. And if you want to go that far, you can, or you can just stick with your one cob. This this kernel right here. Because 
it looking like farm to you? It's looking like it to me. Oh yeah. Yay. I'm going to be using up all the colored pencils this week. Oh no, I think I got something stuck in my pencil sharpener. No! Oh. I moved my pencil sharpener and it was like a domino effect of all of my art supplies falling on the table. So we're just not going to worry about it. <laughs> so the quick way to make these kernels is just do like a circle, but leave that op middle part open for um, to look like a uh, a reflection to make it look like a smooth surface, okay? So just around like that. Circle, 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 circle. Since I have to work tomorrow um, and I can't see you guys face to face, I recorded this, um, I'm recording this the night before, and I've done um, several videos, so I'm getting tired and my hand hurts, but it's okay, totally worth it for you guys. Anyway, if you love art and this is, you know, something that looks interesting to you, but your hand hurts, <laughs> it's something you could do, like, maybe over Thanksgiving break. If you really want to do a good job and take your time, um, take breaks because your hand's going to hurt. <laughs> Probably. Mine does, anyway. Okay, I'm almost done with the yellow. Okay, now I just gotta go back back and do that tan part to make them look a little bit better. And the tan part goes in between the kernels to make it look like a shadow. And then it also like a J shape at the bottom of the kernels to make them look uh, to make them look better. More realistic. Again, these will look really more awesome if you can go in with your white colored pencil and just kind of go over it again to um, blend those colors together, like the light brown and the yellow and the, the white space. But I get it if you can't because you don't have a white pencil. But if you do, you should use it. I don't have one right now. I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Colored pencils. It's on my list. Oops. Do you guys have any favorite meals or side dishes you like to eat during the fall? Because my culinary class is thinking about side dishes to make for my class that I teach, but they want to do it like the week before we go on break so we can have like a little feast together. And the most common ones I heard is 
area were so far were deviled eggs, mashed potatoes with gravy, and what else did I get? Tamales. I always like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are like a comfort food to me. They taste really yummy, like an oatmeal or something, you know? All right, well, there's my first one on the top. And then I might do two more if I feel like it, but probably not right now, because my hand hurts. So that's how you do the corn kernel, a realistic one. And here is um, a bunch of options like red, orange, purple, black. Um, I really like this one, so I will probably do that one and then maybe one of these. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, this is kind of what we're shooting for, unless you want to do black and white, and then you can stick with the black and white. But there's your corn. And if you don't want to do more corn next to it, but maybe you want to do like some leaves or something, or you want to maybe draw one of those little um, corn handles. Here, I'm gonna draw what I mean. You guys will probably know what I mean. You ever seen these like little yellow things like this? And then they, they kind of look like that, and then have like a little thing that sticks into the corn and then you put it in the side of your corn cob so you can have something to hold on to to rotate it you know so your hands don't get all greasy or whatever anyway so you could draw like one of those sitting here on the table you could draw some butter or some leaves you could just leave it one you could put a bunch next to it but I just think this looks so beautiful, so full of texture. So if you want to go ahead, want to do that, go ahead and do that. But I think I'm going to call it a night. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Veterans Day and Thanksgiving break. And hopefully I'll get to um, enjoy teaching you soon face-to-face. -face. Have a lovely evening, or a lovely morning. Bye-bye.